Once you get your first dividend payment, it can be pretty addicting. There's nothing better than getting paid to do absolutely zero work. These stocks that we're going to be talking about today, they do all the heavy lifting for us, even when we feel like skipping leg day yet again. Now the first company that we'll talk about is O oh, Realty Income. This real estate juggernaut has been paying dividends for decades. I actually bought my first shares of O oh, Realty, not Reality Income, on February 16th, 2018. That was nearly seven years ago, and seven years later, I'm proud to finally announce that I have reached the 100 share mark. Now, I don't get any superpowers for hitting 100 shares, but what I do get is $319 in annual income from O every single year, potentially for the rest of my life. Now, I've already earned $500 in dividends from O over the years as I've slowly started accumulating my position in O. And now that I've had more shares of O constantly paying me dividends every single month, I'm gonna be accelerating, compounding, how quickly I will get to 200 shares because what's gonna stop me from getting to 200 shares? The only thing stopping me is myself. Now, oh, Realty Income has been around for 55 years of monthly dividends to its investors. Now, this includes time when they were not yet a publicly traded company. They went public in 1994, so that's 30 years now. They have 30 years of a track record of great performance 30 years as a publicly traded company. In total, they've given 126 dividend increases since then, all passive income. Did not have to lift a finger to get this money. We have teams of experts, industry professionals, doing all the real estate transactions for us, doing all the acquisitions on our behalf, because, oh, realty income, not reality, they just continue to keep growing every single year. Some people are turned off by how much properties they acquire, but that's not me. I love how they have over 15,000 different properties that are under contractual agreements. This means people are obligated to pay us rent money. Now, O specializes in commercial space. This is mostly grocery stores, convenience stores, home improvement, dollar stores, restaurants, gyms. Are any of those going away? Are any of those getting outsourced to artificial intelligence? I don't think so. Just look at O's track record of portfolio occupancy. It has close to 99% occupancy in the past 30 years. This means they do a great job of putting tenants in their properties and making them pay rent. They're also diversified geographically, located not only in the United States, in every state, they're also in Europe, as well as continuing to grow a footprint there. They just continue to open up new properties there. Their revenues are constantly growing. 10 years ago, they were barely cracking $1 billion in revenue. But now, just under $5 billion a year, this is a company that is rapidly growing and it's sharing its profits with us investors. Guys, it takes so much work to be a landlord on your own. You have so much to deal with. You have tenants. You have state laws that sometimes give tenants more power than the actual landlords. It's ridiculous. Do you want to deal with a, a broken clogged toilet at two in the morning? Well, the law says you got to take care of that. That's why I prefer passive investments like O Realty Income. It provides me an opportunity to get exposure to real estate without physically becoming a landlord myself. Now, the next company we're going to talk about is Shell. We have to look at this company because I don't need to tell you what Shell does since you see their gas stations off every exit. Shell not only sells you natural gas, they are the ones that constantly explore for and produce usable crude oil and natural gas, they find that in oil fields around the world. Now, Shell has been around for well over 100 years. This is a company that consistently gives out cash flow. This is an income producing company, bringing in over $28 billion in levered free cash flow. Levered free cash flow is the amount of cash a company generates after accounting for its financial obligations, particularly interest payments on debt. Now, many, many people foolishly believe that oil is going to be going away because everyone's going to use electric cars soon. And while that is still far from becoming a reality, not owe realty income, 
um, it has its own set of challenges. And the set of challenges of everyone using an EV car soon enough is way too long for me to put in this video. Oil is still used for many, many things, such as jet fuel, heating homes, factories, many petrochemicals, asphalt, and even a lot of renewable energy products use fuel, ironically. Shell has a starting 4% dividend yield and has paid dividends for decades, even before they were in their current iteration of Shell. I want to show you an example of how you should basically just do the opposite of whatever the media is trying to fearmonger you with. In 2020, when people thought the world was going to end, Shell's price dropped so much that I was able to buy some shares at $25 a share. Now, that has rebounded to over a 157% gain for me today, but, but here's the crazy part, guys. I am now getting an 11% yield on my money just for holding on to my shares of Shell that I bought oh so many years ago. I now have a blue chip company in my portfolio that continues to make me money. Shell makes up 1.21% of my portfolio, and I'm about to reach $100 in annual income with them once I buy a few more shares. All right, I'll leave you guys with one last super high-yielding ETF. This one is straight for those high-yield dividend warriors to rejoice, and that ETF we're going to be talking about is BlackRock's BST, the Science and Technology Trust ETF. Now, it's been around 10 years that BST has been out, and they have paid some juicy dividends monthly ever since. Now, I've made a couple of videos in the past going over this closed-ended fund. The fund actually doesn't use any leverage, and if you couldn't tell by its name, they're heavily invested in tech stocks. Now, there's actually a couple ways to make money with this fund. There's, of course, the capital appreciation and the income that they get from the call options that they do. Since this is a closed-ended fund, let me just explain what the difference is real quick. So open-ended funds, like let's say a triple Q's, right? People can just buy into the fund and the fund will just issue a new share with that new capital. This is a little bit different than closed-ended funds. They actually raise a fixed amount of capital through an IPO and then those shares trade on the exchange like real stocks. There's a finite amount of shares outstanding. Once the shares are issued, no new shares are created, and investors cannot redeem their shares for cash directly from the fund like they can do with a regular ETF. Instead, shares can only be bought or sold on the secondary market. Now, why is this important, guys? Well, this means there can sometimes be a little bit of a price arbitrage or prices can fluctuate between supply and demand. That means BST could be trading at a premium. That's when they actually trade higher than their NAV, or they could be trading at a discount, which is what they're actually doing right now. We can see BST has a market price of $36.72, but the NAV, what, what the fund is actually worth, is $38 per share. They're trading at a 3.37% discount as of today's prices. So this could mean that BST is quite undervalued, but just know this one thing, BST is heavily exposed to tech, meaning if tech does poorly, this ETF could go down real quick. Or in a bull market, that upside is going to be limited. Now, tech companies are known not to be huge dividend payers, but BST gives us a starting dividend yield of over 8%, which is not too shabby. This is a way to own tech and get paid big dividends. At the end of the day, these are three fabulous stocks or ETFs that can help you pay your rent money every single month. Let me know what you think of these picks in the comments below. Be sure to leave a like for a small time YouTuber. My videos are always found in podcast form under the Collect Cash podcast name. For my full $215,000 plus portfolio, check out the Patreon link below and I will catch you on the next one. So I've become friends with school shooters. I've seen it.